good morning welcome back to the video i hope you guys are doing extremely well so friends in this video uh, i will show you 20 most important and frequently asked mcq of uh, unit number three which is process synchronization and threads okay so guys uh, as i have already uploaded the 20 most important mcqs of unit number one and unit number two so if you guys haven't gone through that videos then you can refer to the description box where you will find the link of the same okay so please do not forget to watch that videos because all that 40 mcqs are very important according to your examinations point of view so please do not skip that okay so without wasting any time let's proceed with the question number one of unit number three which is two automatic operations permissible on semaphores are dash and dash option is wet and stop option number two wet and hold and option number three hold and signal and option number four wet and signal so the correct option of this question is option number four which is wet and signal two automatic operations permissible on semaphores are wet and signal okay so second number question is which process can be affected by other processes executing in the system option of this question is option number a cooperating process child process parent process or init process so correct option is option number a which is cooperating process next question if a process is executing in its critical section then no other process can be executing in their critical section what is this condition called this is very important question do not miss it this even all these questions are very important do not miss any one of the questions option number a mutual in exclusion option number b critical exclusion option number c synchronous ex exclusion and last option is asynchronous exclusion so the correct option of this question is option number a which is mutual exclusion okay let's proceed with the next question which is what which one of the following is a synchronization tool option a thread option b pipe option number c semaphore and op last option is socket so the correct option is option number c which is semaphore fifth number question process synchronization can be done on what which level on which level process synchronization can be done option number a hardware level option number b software level option number c both hardware and software level and last option is not of the mention so the correct option is option number c which is both hardware and software level sixth number question to enable a process to wait within the monitor a condition variable must be declared as condition option number b condition variable must be used as boolean objects option number c semaphore must be used and last option is all of the mentioned the correct option of this question is option number a which is a condition variable must be declared as condition seventh number question a process can be option a single threaded option b multi-threaded option c both single threaded and multi-threaded and last option is none so this is very simple question you can answer this if you know the answer please comment below that your answers and the correct option of this question is option number c which is both single threaded and multi-threaded okay okay let's proceed to the at number question at number question is the time required to create a new thread in an existing process is option a greater than the time required to create a new process b option less than the time required to create a new process c option equal to the time required to create a new process and last option is none of the mentioned so the correct option of this question is option number c with uh, sorry option number b which is less than the time required to create a new process okay nine number question termination of the process terminates option a first thread of the process first two thread of the process 
C option all thread within the process and last option is no thread within the process. So obviously last option will not be the correct. So the correct option is option number C all threads within the process. Tenth number question. Thread synchronization is required because option A all threads of a process share the same address space. B number option all threads of a process share the same global variables. And option number C, all threads of a process can share the same file and last option is all. So the correct option of this question is option number D, all of the mentioned. Okay. 11 number question, a semaphore is a shared integer variable that cannot, option number A, drop below zero, second option be more than zero, third option drop below one. And last option is that cannot be more than zero. And correct option of this question is option number A, which is drop below zero. Next question. How can we avoid deadlock? Option A, resource allocation must be done at once. B option, there must be a fixed number of resources to allocate. And C option, all deadlock process must be averted and last option is inversion technique can be used and the correct option of this question is option number b which is there must be a fixed number of resources to allocate let's proceed to the next question which is the child process can option a be a duplicate of the parent process second option never be a duplicate of the parent process and C option cannot have another program loaded into it. And last option is never ha uh, have another program loaded into it. It's a very simple question and correct option of this question is option number A. Be a duplicate of the parent process. Okay. 14 number question. Oh, this is a very important question. Oh. The dining philosopher pro problem will occur in case of option A. 5 philosophers and 5 chopsticks, option B, 4 philosophers and 5 chopsticks, option C, 3, three philosophers and 5 chopsticks, and last option is 6 philosophers and 5 chopsticks. So the correct option of this question is option number A, which is 5 philosophers and 5 chopsticks. Next question, a deadlock free solution to the dining philosopher problems. Option A necessarily eliminates the possibility of starvation. Option B does not necessarily eliminate the possibility of starvation. Se uh, second last option eliminates any possibility of any kind of problem further. And last option is none. Correct option of this question is option number B which is does not eliminate the possibility of starvation. 16 number question. A thread is also called what? Very simple question. Heavyweight process, lightweight process, data segment process, or overhead process. The correct option is option number B, which is lightweight process. Thread is also called lightweight process. Next question. Multi-threading on a multi-CPU machine. Option A, decrease concurrency. Increase concurrency does not affect the concurrency and last option is can increase or decrease the concurrency and correct option of this question is option number B which is increase concurrency. Next question. The jacketing technique is used to option E convert a back blocking system call into non-blocking system call. Option B create a new thread. Option C, communicate between threads and last option is terminate a thread. And correct option of this question is option number A, which is convert a blocking system call into a non-blocking system call. And the second last question is a monitor is a type of what? Very simple question. Option number A, a semaphore, low level synchronization construct. And option C, high level synchronization construct. And last option is none. So the correct option of this question is option number C, which is high level synchronization construct. Okay. And the last question of this session is semaphores are mostly used to implement what? Option A, system calls. 
option b ipc mechanism option c system protection and last option is none of the mentioned and the correct option is option number b which is ipc mechanism so this is all for today's session and i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the videos if you have enjoyed watching the videos please do not forget to like the videos and also subscribe to the channel and share this video in your class group also thank you so much bye bye guys